Welcome to Bob's Transit Van. On this episode, we're going to be doing sound deadening. Everybody puts this stuff up all over the inside of their vans, but what does it really do? Let's find out. I know you're asking yourself, how is he going to be able to tell what the sound deadener really does? Well, I'm going to do an experiment. I'm going to drive a 10 minute route before and after putting the sound deadener up. And I'm going to measure the sound pressure level with a sound pressure level meter that records every second so I'll have 600 measurements in 10 minutes and I'll be able to see what the average is and where the peaks are and that kind of thing and see if there's any really noticeable difference the other way I'm going to be able to the other way I'm going to be able to tell is I'm going to record the sound inside the van before and after and then I can put them on a spectrum analyzer and see if there's certain frequencies that are attenuated more by the sound deadener than by a bare bones van. Alright, so here's some of the tools that I'll be using. First of all, I've got about four boxes of the kill mat. I've got a roller. roll this on make sure it sticks good box cutter got some isopropyl alcohol clean the metal panels off so it sticks good I've got a tape measure got a square Got some gloves to protect my hands. Knee pads so when I'm kneeling on the floor I got some protection. And I've got a piece of plywood to cut the kill mat on. Alright, the sound deadener is all done. It took me about a week to get it done, but really I only worked on it for about eight hours or so. We had a couple of days that were too cold, but it made quite a bit of difference, I can tell already. Uh, let's go on a little tour. Alright, I did the sides, side walls, the compartments up top. I also did the floor, just the low part of the grooves in the floor. I did the wheel wells. I put two layers on the wheel wells just to deaden the road noise. I used a little over two boxes of the kill mat. did the ceiling. And this em empty spot is where my air conditioner is going. Here's up front. I didn't do the slider, the rear doors, the rear doors are going to be a separate video because I want to do 
sound deadener insulation and change the speakers out all in one go. Also, for the under the headliner, I didn't do yet. That's going to be a separate video when I do sound deadener insulation and put in the mancillary shelf. So that'll be a separate video. I also didn't do anything to the front doors. <clears throat> that'll be a separate video when I change the speakers out, sound dead, and then insulate the front doors. All right, here's the data that I got from my sound level meter on this graph both both before and after are put together so this first half over to about right here is before and over to the end is after now I got an average of the sound level on the first half The sound level before was 77.4 dB and then for the second half it was 74.4 so that's a 3 dB difference which is pretty noticeable so sound deadener definitely quieted down the vehicle all right, so I recorded the audio as I was driving the same circuit. Uh, I drove around 10 minutes. This box up here is the before kill mat, and this lower box will be after kill mat. I lined up right here the sound of the van going over the curb on my driveway so the audio files are fairly synchronized so if I go back if I go to the beginning I start playing this let's see what we can see so it looks to me like the major change is in this upper frequency area which makes sense because the kill mat takes a lot of the the ping out of the large metal panels on the side of the van but you can see that the overall sound level is less on the after kill mat graph I mean, you can still see the bumps. If I hit a bump, you can see the sound peak out in certain areas. And it doesn't seem like right here around 200 is one area where the peaks seem to happen. But you can just see right here in this area. It's quite a bit less than here on the before kill mat. So I'd say kill mat is definitely worth putting into your van to, to lower the sound that's coming from the metal. Also, it keeps a little bit of the road noise from coming through, but all that uh, sound coming from underneath is hard to stop. The more insulation you put in, the more that's going to be muffled.
you can just see on this in this area there's a lot more low frequency than on this one too so it's it's helping across the board So hopefully that uh, is some evidence for anybody that doubts that the sound deadening materials actually do anything. I'm pretty convinced that they do quiet the van down quite a bit. I think that'll be it for this video. Stay tuned. I'll be putting out some more videos pretty quick. And... Uh, I just want to thank everybody that's subscribed to my channel and if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed please do so I think that's the end for this video everybody have a good day and I'll see you in the next one